In today's video, I'm going to be breaking down Decroft versus Clef the God in the Madden 20 Madden Bowl. And Decroft is the Bengals and Clef is the Buccaneers. For those of you that don't know, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. And what we're doing is a series called Film Study. This is where I take a look at professional players and kind of break down some of the things that the casters and, and you may you may miss unless you go back and rewatch the game. And so um, if you're interested in that and anything in my channel, we have tips and strategies and guides and all sorts of different things for you to help you get better at Madden. And so what I want to encourage you to do is just text me to let me know you're watching this video. My number is in the description. And if you don't feel comfortable texting to me to give out your number no problem you can join our discord and in fact the first hundred people that join our discord once we hit a hundred people in that discord chat then i will be releasing a free offensive and full offensive and defensive scheme with everything that i ran in madden 20 and we got madden 21 right around the corner so a lot of really good stuff coming for the youtube channel again just shoot me a text let me know you're watching uh, it would mean the world to me my numbers in the description below and yes it is my personal cell phone number so i'm just trying to get you guys as much access to me as I possibly can. So what I like about Decroft, real quick here, let's check out his abilities. He's got Escape Artist on Aaron Rodgers, he's got Fearless, he's got Identifier, and then he's got John Ross with the Slot Apprentice. Now, one of the things that Decroft did that I thought was so, so, so smart is he has this Ryan Jensen with the Post Up and Secure Protector ability. What that means is he's going to be able to pick up the pressure from those inside power specialist guys, which in my opinion, if you're running uh, any defense in Madden 20, I think it is so critical to have the pass rush specialist specialist, power move specialist, specific ability to your defensive tackle. To have a nose guard that can get that pressure up the middle is worth its weight in gold. Now, he's running the New England Patriots offense, and Clef is running the West Coast. We're going to see two big-time passers here, and I want to show you here real quick. So he's going to stay in this wide trips offset tight end. You see he's got Raheem Mostert here, Chris Johnson here. He's got John Ross, Tyreek, Tyreek Hill, and... Um, just going to start out with a little basic run here just to kind of get settled in here. This gun Y off trips Pats is one of the best passing formations in Madden in Madden year in and year out. There's a lot of really good things that you can do from it. And I want to talk about some of the route combinations and some of the really interesting things that I notice here in Decroft. So as you can see here, Clef is coming out and he's in Dime 146. You can already tell. So more than likely the Dime 146, what you're going to get from this is you're going to get a three-man pressure from one side of the formation and then you can get a drop coverage off of that. So he can and three, he can send six, he can send three, he can move his safeties in. Now, normally they're going to be in some type of cover two shell off the back end, but here you'll see. So you got Decroft setting up his protection. Now, Clef is using this safety right here. So you see a really good move by Decroft. He's going with a little bit of a verticals concept there. He's got that post drag. He's got a couple people open there, but just missed the reads. And he's going to end up taking up with taking off with Aaron Rodgers. So let me show you this route combination and we'll, we'll show it to you here as this goes on. But these are some key, key, key things to, to watch. Once you get to high level in Madden, a lot of the, there's so many adjustments happening pre-snap. But if you take a look here, Clef is showing this base coverage. Now he's man aligning his defense and pressing, as you can see there, snap of the ball here. And Decroft's running just a very simple curls concept with that corner out on the right side. He's going to take off with Aaron Rodgers again and get up field. All right, so now curls. He's got the curls concept. He's got this corner route. So this is a high low read here on this left, this right side. Now if Clef's sending the pressure here and here, what I'd like to see, what Clef is probably doing, is probably manning up this guy right here. But we'll see what happens here. It's snap of the ball. We'll see what Decroft. So you see here some changes in the route combinations here. And so right here, it's primarily you see Clef's bringing the safety into the box here. So Decroft's going to use some motion. He's got this seam streak here. You see it kind of messes up the defense a little bit. And Clef drops out into a simple zone. And Decroft's able to hit a basic, very basic out route. Now what I love about Decroft is the way that he uses motion, the way that he stands tall in the pocket, and the way that he kind of keeps you from getting too adjusty on defense. He's using what I call constraint theory plays. That's plays that are designed that if they're just going to come out and cover two and they may put this guy in a manned up assignment or whatever, but they base align it and he comes over this way, they're able to really adjust out of this very, very well. So you'll see here at the snap, little in route, little out route, little corner route, and you see there he's able to get him over the top for a dot going with a little bit of a max protect setup. 
Now, Clef runs gun bunch, but what's interesting about Clef's offense that I want to talk about here is that Clef has access to be able to run anything that he really wants to. And here you see here, he's got a, this hitch route is serving as his check down read, and he's just running basically a little two-man combination. This is essentially smash to me um, or flood, but he's a simple flood concept with out route here, corner route over the top, and you see Clef's user is just nowhere to be found on that. Now, Clef's, Clef is going to run standard gun bunch, but the thing is, he's got every, um, he's got a quarterback that can basically, he can do any routes. He has all the route apprentice abilities in his offense, so he's going to be able to create some really, really fascinating route combinations, and you'll see here, one of the things that I think Clef makes the mistake of some from time to time in playing is I think Clef kind of overthinks until the critical moments, and it's kind of hard because when you know so much about the game, it is hard to keep it simple. It actually becomes very complex. So part of the things that you have to do as you get better at the game is you have to keep things very, very simple. So here Decroft's coming out. He's in a nickel 245 look. And we'll see here Clef. This gun bunch is going to be very similar to Skimbo's gun bunch here. But he's going to do a little bit of a different flavor here. You see he's got a post route combination corner route. He's doing all these adjustments at the snap of the ball. And you'll see here a little bit of a motion. And you're seeing he's running a little scissors concept on that left side. He's got two posts. And see, there he's able to hit that uh, that tight end over the over the crosser, which is basically a – that post route is kind of a – it's like a Pat's Y sale post route, but it's a crossing. It really works as a crossing route. So so last play, what happened was D, um, Clef the God went with a corner route here, a deep corner post that's going to get over the top, and then he went with a – smaller post that's going to kind of come into this pocket. So he's basically going here, crosser, crosser over top, and then he's got the corner around on the backside. Let's see what he does here. It looks like he's going to the standard deep corner setup. He's got the deep dig route, and he's going to motion this post over. See here, he's going for that cover three beater. He's got the fade there, and he's trying to hit that route over the top, and I think he had him. He had a step on him, but he just missed it, and he was going to take that check down read. Now, Decroft's using Ryan Shazier, which in my opinion, um, Ryan Shazier, I would like to see a safety there. Linebackers just don't, even, even though he's got Lurker on him. And you'll see here, because of the way the defense is going to go, you'll see he's not, he's not, he goes on to Wilson more than he goes on to Shazier because of the way his defense is set up. But here's Manline press coverage. You got the hitch route here as a little check down read. I love that. And then we're just going to run with the spaceship concept two crossers and you see and I think Clef kind of falls in love with the crossing routes and what happens is crossing routes are very effective against the computer right but against the user with man-to-man -man coverage and cross manning and all the tools crossing routes when you do dual crossers like that it's kind of it's kind of difficult because of the way that they get open, the way that the routes develop downfield. And you'll see here he's going, he's got that little baby uh, little baby in route there. I think that might have been a crossing route, but he's going to take off of Vic. But Clef makes a lot, a lot, a lot of adjustments. A lot of adjustments pre-snap, a lot of different things on offense that most people don't do. Or In, in my opinion, Clef's offense is very unique from the gun bunch because he... He loves to create route combinations. He is a passer through and through. Here he's doing this. And if you don't do this pre-snap, when your quarterback is like yellow, that means they need energy. If you just cycle through your plays, that's going to help a little bit with the energy. It's going to get them refreshed. It's basically kind of um, a way of essentially giving them Gatorade. But uh, anyway, here's wide receiver post. You see here, he's going to He's going to run a little space, little, little, again, same thing, crosser concept on both sides. He's got the out routes as the check down read, and you're going to see he's going to try to hit that, and he's just not able to. Decroft makes a great adjustment. And Decroft, is, Decroft, what he does, and what you're finding on defense, is he simply goes cross man. He's trying to take the crossers away because the crossers are the main thing that Clef wants to do. If Clef would run some corner routes, and that's where I talk a lot about route combinations, right? What are you at? Where, what? And also field spacing. and we talk about that in the air raid. Where, what part of the field are you trying to get to? And you're seeing a lot, a lot, a lot of crossers. You see in route with a cross over top, with a cross over here. That's what Clef is going to do offensively. And I think if I'm correct, what I'm going to see Decroft do is go to a lot of cover four palms. And cover four palms, they're going to match right over the top. And there you see there, you got that corner route. Corner route standing wide open in the end zone. And it's like 
I think Clef just missed the read, you know. And that's what I'm talking about, about having a few finite number of plays that fit really well together because it's all about reading the defense. It's all about reading and getting somebody open. If you can do that, and that's what I find Decroft does a really good job of. Decroft, Decroft's route combinations are actually very simple. But what he's able to do is because he understands the game so much, he's able to read and react. And that's one of the big things. So here, he's uh, Clef's going to go to the Skimbo setup here. This out route here, going to take away the flat. He's going to bring this slant over and see Clef likes to send five out a lot. Um, but I think it's partially, you see, there's the user. And he's got the running back right there, but he's not going to hit him. He's going to get out of the pocket with Vic. And so far, Michael Vick is the MVP, but not from the air through the through the ground. All right, so first and goal here, he's going down to the far tight. Probably going to see a fullback dive right in here. Now, Decroft does do a really good job of shooting these gaps, but he's able to get in and, in, and able to roll. So now second position coming, and you're going to see these two really good passers start to adjust to one another. It's going to be a tough game. It's going to be a game with a lot of different adjustments. And so Decroft's going to come out, and you're going to see Clef is going to stay in this dime 146, and he's going to adjust from it. So there's the sample pressure. Now what you'll see is you see that little stock fade route there to John Brown? That's going to burn cover two. So if he's in cover two over there, you see Decroft's got that, that route combination set up. He's max protecting. He's going to go with a simple motion in route, post route, streak combination. Clef does a good job of using it, and Decroft has to go away. So that was a good good kind of chess match there. Clef throws the deep third out there. Decoff can't go with that fade route. And then now all he's got to do is use her that that post route. I'd like to see I'd like to see this guy on a hitch, not an in route, but we'll see what happens here. Same kind of thing. You've got this post route. He's just hot routing it with a slot apprentice. He's gonna bring this in route. He's got I think he's gonna bring him on a little and this is a really genius. He's gonna put that motion in. Trying to catch that and get that right there. You see Decroft using very simple pull routes, very simple pull routes to get these underneath routes open, the dink and the dunk. And what Decroft, I think, does such a good job of as a passer, I think Decroft's probably the best passer in Madden 20, personally. Um, I think Skimbo is still the best passer, period. But this specific season, I think Decroft really set himself apart as one of the best passers in the game. But you'll see here, using these route combinations to open lanes and then he's able to burn him over the top but he throws the pick so let's look at that one more time here let me look at that one more time so on this specific play decroft look let me take a look here you've got a seam wheel to the running back seam wheel to the running back now you've got this stock fade on the outside right and what you're going to see is he's going to try to take tyree kill throw him straight up the seam He's going to try to get that one-on-one. -on -one. He's trying to take advantage of the safety Ed Reed there. So at the snap of the ball, he's running a basic clear out. He's either going to hit the slant and see here, Clef only sends three. Now Clef is in cover three, as you can see right here. Now, right here, you've got the running back wide open, okay? You're, he's De or, um, Clef has decided to go with the slant route. And what Decroft is trying to do on this on this throw, I promise you he's trying to do this. He is not trying to throw the ball that direction. As you can see here, this deep this this corner right here is not running with Tyreek Hill. What what he's trying to do is he's trying to throw the ball to the right because he thinks he's got a one play score. And with the snap of the ball, you see for whatever reason, and you see the facial expression here at Decroft sees it immediately. It was the dot was there. It's just one of those things, and, and that's why it's you know stock routes are so important. Now, what I'd like to see him do is put him on a fade right there, but the pass lead kind of screwed up. I don't know if he passed, let it wrong or whatnot, but um, it was it was wide open. All right, so Clef's going to go back to you'll see here spaceship concept. So he's got crosser and he's got the post over the top, and then he's got these little outs as the check down. You see, he never throws these routes, and Derek, Derek Decroft has everything boxed. That's what I'm talking about. When you fall in love with the crossing routes, I mean, every single play that Clef has run so far has been a crossing route. 
um, to the slot. So what Decroft can very simply do is just cross man that. It's going to deter it enough, and then he's got these guys down here. These guys are going to eat. I think he's running just a simple four down lineman rush, if I remember correctly. So we'll see what Clef's rolling here with. But I'd like to see him run just a simple corner route. I think a simple corner route would be wide open. I think he's going to go to it right here. He's going to a little flood concept from the bunch. And you should see this corner route be wide open. Yep. But Decroft, Decroft, Decroft had a good, um, I think he was in cover four there. And so Decroft was able to hang with it. So here... Same thing. You're going to see heavy crossers. Heavy, 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 heavy crossers. I like him bringing that little hitch in. And some of the route combinations that Clef puts together are so good. It's just like when he actually tries to run them, you know, I you're going to see here spaceship concept. I mean, they're good concepts. It's just, again, your concepts have to be able to be executed. Your concepts have to be able to be executed. And so I'd like to see... Let's see here. He's going deep corner. He's got the dig here. He's got the hitch. Looks like he's going to try to run a little smash. Flipping. I love how he flips the bunch. I think that's so smart. It creates so many route combinations with that outside guy. You can put him on a hitch because, and then you can flip it, and he's going to stay on the hitch. See, there's that deep corner, and and I don't like that deep. That to me, Decroft is is not. To me, Decroft is 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 not adjusting to that. I think Decroft is running his his standard setup, but he's not able. He's not figuring out. And you'll see down the road, he's going to completely bag this bunch. But Clef is running post route, post route, right? He's running this guy on a post. He's running this guy on over top post, and he's got a hitch on the backside as a check down read. So Decroft's eventually going to figure out the route combinations he's trying to use. You see here, same kind of thing here. You've got a post. You got a post, you got a corner. So watch right here, snap of the ball. You should see they're going to drop off. He's going to use that post route, and they can't hit the deep post because, number one, they don't have time. And, number two, the coverage, it's a cover three beater, and, and Decroft's not in cover three. He's not in cover three. And this is I think this is an example of Clef falling in love with the deep corner one play touchdown. And a lot, I do this too. Um, you know, we all do this. See, and I would like to see this is not open. This route right here is not open. You watch. See here, he's going to use her there. And that time he takes the crosser. He didn't even have to. But I think because of down and distance, Decroft with that user. That's the other reason I personally have gone away from the bunch because it's so compressed. And in my opinion, that's why the spread. Because you don't want to have routes that the user can use or you, you want to try to put the user defender in a conflict. Well, if these guys are running the same routes, the, he can use her both of them. That's what I don't like. See, Decroft is able to easily use her this whole thing, and Clef's going to have to punt. Now, here, Decroft, same same thing here. So now what you're going to see is he's going to try to hit one of these streaks. You see he's got these pull routes right here. You should see just a simple streak. He's got the pull routes. He's either going to hit the hitch or the HB seam. I love how Decroft uses the flat routes, though. And you see here, he puts him on a motion slant, runs him on the seam. He does have his slant wide open, but he's going to take it with his, with his QB. So, so far, what you're seeing is a little bit different in the in the types of passers they are. Clef is, Clef is more of a one-hit wonder, big play guy. And Decroft, in my opinion, is more of a dink and dunk. I'm going to hit you underneath, hit you underneath, hit you underneath, and then I'm going to hit you over the top. Either way you go is fine. It's just what I'm noticing from Decroft, in my opinion, is I think Decroft is re is able to read the defense just a little bit faster, a little bit better than Clef, and it's making a big difference in his offense. And you're seeing here, Clef, same thing. Roll these guys in, so he can send pressure either way. So Decroft has to, has to, pretty much max pro if he wants to pick the pressure up, right? Now you've got, let's see here. So he's got a corner route here. He's going to take this guy right here, motion him across, put him on a slant that's going to come down here, and then he's going to throw the post. Now, I'd like to see this guy on a drag. I don't like the slants. I like drags, but because of the spacing of the of the route combination. But you'll see here, he's going to be on a slant. Now, essentially his user, and he's going to throw him up deep, so he has to go with him. 
But you see there, that's why I don't like slants. I think a drag would have been wide open there. I think Decroft might have been anticipating man coverage, but uh, there, Clef does a good job. That's why, personally, I just don't like that route combination. So you'll see here, but I love his use of motion and using the running backs out of the passing, out of the out of the backfield. All right, so you've got a streak here. You've got a drag. Now he's going to go to the streak, the drag, and the post, right? Streak, drag, post. So watch the safeties here, and he's going to throw a wheel out there, looks like, which I don't know if I – I don't know what about how I feel about that. And I think he leaves them on a hitch route, which is actually a good move. He's able to check down to it. But you see the route combinations that Decroft is using, and it's all about the spacing all about spacing and you're seeing that in this in this very very high level game i mean this game is worth a lot of money this is um i believe this is a semi-final game to go to the madden bowl championship so this is a lot there's a lot of money on the line on this game right here and you see he's he's simply bringing this guy right here hover he's going to use the streak then he's going to come back out on that drag very good user there by clef and you you've got rb wide open so you know, I'd like to see Decroft. Clef's not blitzing a lot. So, you know, I don't know how much Decroft needs to get out of the pocket. He's been getting out of the pocket a lot lately. We'll see here. Two streaks, which I see that. And he's, I think he's got him. He's got him. Dot. And he drops it. See, I'd like to see right there a, a possession catch. And I'd like him to click on. You know, I make that mistake too. But I'd like to see a possession catch in the end zone for touchdown. Because, I mean, he be, he burned him right over the top with that, that streak. Because Clef's running so much aggressive press coverage, and you'll see here, seam wheel, slant. And you'll notice, and that should have been a pick. But what you'll notice is Decroft is starting to make the same mistake that Clef is making here in this in this game. These are two of the best pla these are two of the best passers in the community. And here's here's what I want you to take away from this. I'm not kidding you when I say these are two of the best passers in the community. They're better passers than I am. They're better passers than you are. They're playing for thousands and thousands of dollars. And what I want you to take away from the first half is you've if you've noticed, they're so good. And they know so much about the game. They are running a lot of different setups. And what's happening is they're running so many different setups for their plays that, in my opinion, they're running a little bit too much. They're trying to do a little bit too much. They're not taking their simple, simple, simple check down reads, their simple short reads, and they're not working the ball up the field. And in my opinion, that is causing massive problems for their offense. They're missing reads. You can look at their facial expressions, and you can watch them misread after misread after misread. He can't hit him there. See, this right there is wide open. Why does he not throw the hitch route? He won't do it. He's trying to hit him over the top. He's trying to hit him over the top, and, and that's that's an issue. That's a massive issue. He is locked in on one read. He's locked in on one read. Now, against most people, that one or two reads works. But when you play someone like Decroft, high ability, high knowledge of the game, it's not happening. I mean, Clef hasn't moved in the first half. He had one drive where Vic ran, I think, four times for 50 yards. So, And he's missed read after missed read after missed read. Here we go with the corner route. I like this call. And let's see what he does here. He's got the delay fade. And he might call a timeout. Oh, nope, he's going to go. Watch RB. Nothing. Completely boxed. He swerves the spy. Gets out. Good job by uh, good job by Clef there. I love him not taking a timeout. I love him not taking a timeout. And then he goes and does it, but, so he gets the runoff. I love him not taking a timeout right there. He should have called the play because he would have two two plays. I just That's bad clock management, in my opinion. And And the thing is, guys, these are two of the best players in the world. What I mean by that is there's things we can all learn from everybody. I love this concept right here. If he runs that, that would have been a great concept. He's not going to do it, but I love the dig on the post over top, but he's going to end up going with this. And the issue with this is this has just not been open. And there, Decroft takes a timeout because he doesn't like it. I love the flipping of the bunch. I love all of those things, but it just looks to me like Clef is kind of in his own head. If you watch his facial expressions, you can see he's trying to find a route combination that's going to work because Decroft's been able to box his his current one. Here you'll see here, this is the hitch. Again, and, and he's going to stay with this. Now, Decroft, very simply, he's running cover four palms. He's he's I think he's auto-flipping it. I think this is auto-flip. 
Yeah, I don't even think he's base aligning it or man aligning it. I don't know. But here's the post. Can't get it. They stay back. It's 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 boxed. And Clef has Clef has ran that setup. If I'm not, I, he's ran that setup over over seven times in three possessions. And it's just there's no there's no um, there's no way there's nowhere to window. There's no window that's open. So here they're both kind of going back and forth, both playing good defense, in my opinion, but both are kind of sticking to their setup sticking. And I think they're trying to overcomplicate things a little bit. Anyway, we're going to go into half here. Clef's going to get the ball and um, let's slide up here. Skip through some halftime stuff. So same setup here. Look at this right here. Now he's trying to hit that corner out. And I like this a lot better. This spaces the team out a lot more. Now he can hit that dig. He doesn't hit him, but he could have hit that dig right there. Frank, Frank Clark just makes a great play. And I don't know if I necessarily like the scissors concept. And that's part of the issue, I think, with bunch is that it's difficult. It's difficult with the gun bunch. when you, If you have good user, I think the gun bunch is, is very... If you have a good user, it's, it's, it's not that hard to box it. So here he goes to mesh post. Got the flat slant combo. And I love that. I love hitting that. And you see it's wide open because he hasn't ran it. <laughs> right. But he's three of seven for 50 yards. I mean, Decroft's defense so far has been boxing it. But it's like, I think it's just we're going to run deep corner seven to ten times, you know. And that setup, that route combination is just not there. It's not there against that specific defense he's doing. He's got these safeties back. They're, they're not running cover three. You know, that deep that deep post is just not open. We'll see what he does here. Same thing, deep post. He's probably got this guy on an out or a hitch. Yep, nothing's open. RB late. Had RB late. And then Decroft's able to get a fumble, return for touchdown, and he's pumped. Big, big time score by Decroft. But you see, there's just nothing there. I mean, there's just nothing there. There's the, there's the flat. You see the cross man. He's got RB. Pops it to him. There he goes. He's off. See, now you start to see. And this is what Clef does. It's like he's a, such a second-half player. But now you're starting to see him innovate a little bit. Now you're starting to see him mix up his calls, um, do some different things. I love what he's doing right now on the offensive side of the ball. I mean, I love what he's doing right now. But it's like, dude, where was that in the first half? I mean, Decroft is boxed deep corner. I mean, and the thing is, like, the, the whole, the way that Clef is running deep corner, in my opinion, it's not that it's easy to box it, but if you have good user and you know it's coming, like, you can box this. So here he's going to go down to far tight, just take take some clock. I don't like that call at all either. I, I, I think he's just trying to pick up the first down there, but I'm like, dude, you got to stay... In my opinion, you got to stay with what brought you. The bunch is your is your is, that's where you're at, man. That's where you make your money. You have invested all your cap in your receivers, and and I don't, I just like to see a run, or I, I don't like seeing a run. So here, this is a motion over. So now we're doing spaceship concept here. These are two posts, a streak. So you'll see, and that's. I, I don't know, man. I think that should have been a fumble. I didn't like that at all. I think Clef is so focused on trying to pick up this first down, and he's trying to just do whatever it takes to get this first down. But the problem is he's missing everything else he could be doing on third and one, second and one call. And so now here we are fourth and inches because we played conservative on the first two first two downs. So here's spaceship concept. He's got the flat over here to hold. I think he's going to throw him on a streak. Yep. And he's looking, and that should I – don't, I don't like that read at all. I think Decroft had that box. See, what I'd like to see is some hitches. Motion the guy over, put him on a hitch. Run a seam wheel in behind it. Um, I'd like to see some underneath stuff. Clef, Clef is just running. The routes are so deep, and they take so long to develop. And, and that's I think that's just a big issue. I love this route combination right here. Got an out. And you see there, he can check it down. And Vic's going to get out, make a good play. But Decroft is, Decroft is defending this bunch really, really, really well. And this, you know, the bunch is, in my, I mean, in everybody's opinion, in Madden, the best passing offense. And it's been the best passing offense for years. All right, so here you'll see just a quick, trying, he's just trying to pick up the first down. Just trying to pick up the first down. See, I'd like to see near Jumbo. If you, I mean, he is 
telegraphing what he's doing. I'd like to see near jumbo because near jumbo you could audible out. Um, I'd like to see a basic audible maybe to I slot, you know, but I guess it's just, I just think that you're playing at this high of a level. They're going to know how to stop fullback dive. Now they do have to sell out. They do have to hundred percent sell out to stop fullback dive. That's why I'd like a quick audible to a, to a something else. But here you see, he's going to try to pop it here. Now watch comes through that gap and it's just not there. Just not there. And to me, when you're trying to get that yard from fullback dive, you've got to have something in your playbook that, you know, you've you've got to have something. And I think Decroft's just feeling really good against this because he's defended it so much. He's still, I mean, it's still a tight game. You know, this game still can go either way. Not like Decroft's offense has been stellar, um, but he's had the route combinations that he's needed to, to dominate here. But we'll see here. So he's got a slant. He's going to motion over that slant. I love this route combination with that flat. It just gives him some, it gives him a lot of options. I don't like him putting him on an in route. He's trying to hit that, but see how easy that is to user, and they just stay. The, the yellows just stay on the on those in routes, those ten yard in routes. That's why you need a fifteen yard in route or a five yard in route. Ten yard in routes, the yellows, the yellow zones will stay on it. The vertical hooks, the hook curls, those those zones will stay on it. That's why I'd like to see a drag there or something because Decroft's user didn't have to do anything. He didn't have to bounce back or anything. So here's second and goal. We got a curl, two curls, a seam wheel on the left. He's got the out. Love that. Love that route combination. He's got three people open and just doesn't hit them. Three people open and just misses them. But, I mean, that, that was good. That's a great route combination. You just got to execute on it here. Third and goal, he's got about three minutes left. So, see, Clef here, he can actually, I mean, he's fine. If he doesn't get this, he's going to take his three and try to lock up on D. But you've got here, audible and around. I love this right here. I love this post route. I love this post route. This is a great call. I don't like this stuff over here. I don't know what we're doing over here. I don't know why we take the seam wheel away. But, and, it, and it's just a terrible, I just, I think he had a free play there. And you see here, Decroft is pretty irritated, but I think he, you know, he would, Clef would have never thrown that if he didn't have a free play, but I just, Clef, Clef is, Clef does not have the pocket at Decroft. If you've watched, watch Decroft when we get back on offense, you'll see Decroft's pocket presence is so huge. So, so huge. Especially at this point in the year where people were starting to figure out, I love this route combination. I just want to see a wheel to the running back, but you see there, and and I um, I think his receiver got held up, but that should have been a dot. I think the read was open. I think Clef threw it just a little bit early. And is he gonna go for this? I think he's gonna go for this. If he doesn't get this, this is GG's. I mean, practically. I mean, he's got three timeouts, I guess, but I don't like this call. He's got to leave the seam wheel. That's the thing I don't understand. I don't know why he's not. This should be. This guy should be on a seam wheel. This is an issue. And this is a this route combination is just not going to be there. If this guy's on a seam wheel and this guy's on the out, and you've got two curls like that'll work. And he hits him. He hits him, but he misses it. I think he had the post route. So, Clef just misses him in the in the end zone there, and Decroft's going to come back out here. And you see Decroft's going down to conservative running. Running, and I, I don't like that call. I like him getting back into the gun. I mean, you got to go with what brought you here. A first down wins the game. It's that simple. And let's see what happens here. And, and I, I think Decroft, like, he's had open receivers. What's interesting about this game is you got two of the best passers ever, ever in Madden 20. And, and they are, and you see he burns him. Dot. So let me break down that play. That wins Decroft the game. Let me show you this real quick. Whoops. So what Clef's been doing, um, what Clef's been doing, let me see if we can get out of here. So here's second and seven. So if you watch, he's usering on a safety. He's not lurking on this guy. I, I don't like that personally because I think he needs to. I think he needs to lurk on this guy. What I love, 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 love about this is you're going to see this little motion fade. What Decroft's simply trying to do is he's trying to get that fade in inside a little bit so that this guy right here can't play it. This guy can't reroute it. He can't do anything. This safety right here is going to be trying to 
take this away. So watch what happens to snap the ball. You see that right there, that movement? That means he's man aligned. Okay. He snaps him right here. Now watch the safeties. Now, Clef has crossed man this guy up over here. His his thinking is he's going to lurk on this guy. Okay. This safety is in a quarter. He's taking away a, a corner route. This guy right here, the most the fades from the interior because of the the defense. I think Clef was in was in a cover four of some type. That cover four, that deep quarter will not play an interior fade route. You'll see here he stops running with him. He goes down to the post. Clef's on the post. Decroft's got a wide open touchdown, and he's going to go to the Madden Bowl finals. And again, guys, you see the chess match. You see it all come together, and and that's GG's. And um, and now Clef down down 14. And you'll see, uh, Clef's going to make things interesting here. Clef is a Clef is such a clutch player. He's such a cut clutch player. But again, I just think if Clef could play for the whole game like he plays in the last three minutes of a game. That would be so significantly improved. Because you watch, the, he starts figuring these route combinations out. If you watch through, literally, now he's going to route combinations that are getting open. He's got the fade. He's got spacing now. He's got the out. He now has space to throw these routes, and he hits them. Because he's got that pull route over the top there. So I love this offense by Clef right here. And I just say, you know, I just say it to say I wish he would have gone to this more. You got the flat there. Love that read. Good read. Good read by Clef with Michael Vick there. All right, second and two here. So, Decroft, if, my, if I'm Decroft, I'm saying, like, I'm just saying, don't don't get anything out here. Don't get anything out here. You can have anything over here. Like, I'm okay with giving up this middle underneath. I just don't want to give up anything on the outside. So, I like to see cover four drop just with clouds. Literally cover four drop with clouds. I think he boxes him here with the match from cover four palms. And Clef has nothing open. And this is where cover four palms defense really took off. I think Decroft in this showed how effective the con the palms can be against a lot of the popular bunch con bunch concepts that people are running the spaceship the crossers that's what I that's that's what Cover Four Palms is going to do a really good job of. And you see, there's cross, there's cross. He does hit him, and he's able to get out of bounds. But I'll tell you what, the first half first half offense just did not. I just think. I had a lot of receivers open, and I hope what you take away from this video is you, even the best players in the world misreads. Even the best players in the world misreads. So when you misread, it's it's not that it's not that these guys don't. It's just I think these guys consistently hit the reads more. The the player that can mo most consistently hit their read, I think that's the player to watch out for. And here you see, I love this combination. Two curls. He's got the post, but misses it. Frank Clark going going ham. I think he's got five and a half sacks semifinal game. He's got the seam wheel wide open and he knows it. He knows it. And this is Decroft he's just saying he's just saying Frank Clark do work. And here you're gonna see Michael Vick. And I wanna see I'd love to see a scramble. And this is a crazy dot. This is fourth and goal from the twenty. You're down two scores. And the, look at this route combination. He's got a smart routed post, a smart routed in route, and a baby out route. And he's just reading. Playmakers, playmakers. And this is crazy. And he's got him wide open in the back of the end zone and hits him. Like that is crazy to me. And it's all it's all gonna come down to the onside. And you'll see here. Onside is really hard to get when they know it's coming. Goes to that little glit. And Decroft's able to get it and goes on to the finals. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. That was Decroft versus Clef the God film study. Hope it was helpful. Hope it shed, shed some light on a few routes and combinations you can test out. Again, I hope this goes to show how, how important it really is to make sure that whatever you're going to execute on, that you execute on it at a high level because it's so, so important to master your reads in whatever offense you're using. Thanks for watching.